Hey guys, this is Metamask21 and uh, today I'm gonna be showing you not only how to get more than 4 perks on the new map Origins, but also how to get 9 perks and how to get them really fast. Okay, so to be honest, this is probably the most detailed tutorial that I have ever done. It took me 2 days to get uh, all the footage and uh, do all the editing, so I hope you appreciate it and even though you know how to get the 9 perks already, I'll show you how to get them fast. But before we start I need to thank the three people who helped me make this tutorial and uh, they are the relaxing end of course, Steve and Force. so thanks to these guys, uh, their link will be in the description so you can go check them out. So let's get straight into this tutorial, so first thing you need is golden shovel which you could get uh, by digging around 30 graves around the map. And you do not need golden helmet to do this, of course, just golden shovel. So the next thing uh, after you get golden shovel you need is uh, zombie blood, obviously. Right now you could show a few examples how to get zombie blood. So for example by killing zombies or killing panzer zoldat. Or you can also dig up a zombie blood, which is pretty good. And a very nice way to get zombie blood is by activating uh, chariots. Basically what you need to do is to extinguish fire on all three of the chariots but you have to do it fast because if you do it slow you need to do it again you can extinguish the fire only with ice stuff stamina up is recommended so after you get the zombie blood you need to start looking for these red dicks or piles around the map you need to obviously dig them and they'll give you free perk battles this won't give you the perk straight away but it's actually a lot better than the normal perk battle because this will give you an extra perk slot because normally by default you can only buy four perks but if you get an extra perk slot you can buy five perks then after you get an extra one you can buy six and so on so this is uh, actually a lot better because uh, when you go down you don't lose these slots as you can see I'm showing you all the locations right now where you can find these red dicks or piles around the map. There are in the total exactly 16 locations where you can find them. Once you learn them it's really really easy. But the next problem can be, okay there are 16 possible spawns for these, how do I find them fast? All of these 16 locations uh, can be found in uh, very specific places. Uh, red dicks or piles cannot grow up from the concrete, <laughs> obviously, but from the dirt beneath the ground. The most common places where you can find them is in the trenches, near all three generators. That's the first very common area for finding these. There are also a lot of spots um, around the excavation site and there is one spawn point behind the church near generator 6. None of these spots uh, are inside any cave except for fire cave where is one spawn location and obviously none of the locations are nowhere in the pack a punch room or in the stuff room or in the crazy place, none of those spots of course. Red pile automatically spawns when you grab a zombie blood and it will always spawn in the same location until you grab it. So the game will give you time to search for it. You can only dig 4 of the red piles in a single game per player. So if you already have 8 slots, uh, do not waste your time looking for more. But even if you only have 8 perk slots, there is still a way to get 9 perks and uh, I'll show it later on in the video. But right now let's take a look at the routes which you want to take when searching for these uh, red piles. So I was looking for a way to search all the places in the least zombie bloods possible. And I found out that it is possible to search all the location by using only three zombie bloods. Yes, only three zombie bloods needed to search all the locations. And here are the routes that I take. So the first route as you saw you can grab zombie blood uh, either by activating chariots or you can camp in the place where I grabbed zombie blood. Then you check five possible locations. Then the next route, the second one, you need to camp in the dead end corner where you can also find uh, locations for one of the shield parts until you get the zombie blood. Now obviously when doing this uh, I recommend always having ice staff not only for activating chariots, but also it's probably one of the best stuff in the game. It's the easiest stuff to camp with and does not lose damage uh, when the round progress. So by using this second route you can check 6 locations if you go the exact same way as I did. 
Alright, this is the last route that you need to take. It is very important to stay in front of the generator 6, in the exact same spot where I am standing now, when executing route 3. So once again you go the exact same way as I went, but in this route you have to be extremely quick to check all the locations because you have just enough time to check all 5. Also a few tips when doing this, I recommend having stamina because uh, that's the only way you can make it in time in all these 3 routes. And also another tip, have the full sprint ready when you grab zombie blood, meaning do not sprint before you get the zombie blood because you don't want to walk in zombie blood afterwards right <laughs> okay here are just a few more tips which you can read uh, or I can read them for you as well so I need to stress for example this one you can't find two red piles in the same round after you find and grab one red pile spot the new one will spawn at the start of the next round so do not check any locations the same round because uh, you don't know if it's gonna spawn there next round or not. Also guys, you know why there are 16 locations in this map? Because you can only get 4 per player and there are 4 players so 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. So you can get 9 perks for all 4 players that way. And right here you can see how to get the 9th perk which is double tap. After you spend 30,000 points you can get the last perk from the challenge box which is located either in the spawn or at the generator 6. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Leave a rating if it helped and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye!